you know what she said to me? She said, you're a player, aren't you? And I bet you got hoes. I said, you don't know me like that. I just go with the flow. She said, you can't fool me like that. You're gonna leave me on red. What I feed my dogs for their protein meal. Ultra oil skin and coat. Solid gold seal meal. Muscle bully gains. Bernie's perfect poop. Beef bone broth for dogs. Bully Max. Dine nutritional supplement. Mix food and serve. Here's typically what I feed my Doberman in a day. So this comment was talking about my enrichment video that I made um, and I just wanted to make it clear that I only feed enrichment to Drago during like lunch and sometimes as like a midnight snack because it helps tire him out. But this is what I make for his breakfast. Um, currently what he's eating is his breakfast. I do have more in-depth videos about that so you can go on my page to check them out. Um, after that we went to the river and I packed some treats. I packed these bark box treats. They were about to expire in a month So I decided to use them all up today I also use a shampoo bottle filled with canned food as his high-value treat and here's a little clip of us going to the river After we got home, I took one of his enrichment topples out of the freezer and gave it to him as his lunch. And here's just a short clip of him eating it. So here I'm gonna be making his dinner. I typically feed him around eight o'clock for dinner. And this time I had some canned food left over from his enrichment topples. So I filled it with water, mixed it around just to make like flavored water as hydration for him. And I also added a chicken heart to this meal and here's a clip of him eating it. And then for his midnight snack, I gave him the smaller topple just to tire him out before he goes to bed. So this is what I feed my Cane Corso puppy, Remy. She's about 70 pounds right now at six months. She gets food twice a day, breakfast and dinner. This is gonna be prepped for tomorrow. And then tonight she's gonna to have hers on a gingerbread man for dinner. So she's on an 80-10-10. She gets about 1.35 pounds of protein. Today we're doing Angus beef, but we can also like switch it off too. Sometimes she gets like chicken or turkey. But yeah, 1.35 pounds for each meal. And it looks like a lot, but they're like beef chunks, so and they take up more space than ground meat. So just a little bit more. 
And then of course you adjust the serving size um, depending on how much your dog weighs. Okay, great, 1.35 pounds. And then she gets bone. So bone, she gets her chicken feet. She loves these. These are actually her feet. She'll probably go for these first. So she gets two chicken feet and then she gets liver and then two chicken hearts. That's all. And then basically I just chop it with some supplements. So she gets fish oil, two pumps. She gets a little goat milk powder and a multivitamin. I just squash up and then I'll crack her egg right about dinner time. Let's meal prep a day's worth of food for my one-year-old Connie Corso. For muscle meat today, she'll be having ground beef meatballs as well as boneless chicken breasts. For sourcing meganese, she'll be having beef green tripe and lamb heart. For secreting organs, she'll be having beef liver as well as beef spleen. For raw meaty bones today, she'll be having two chicken heads as well as some chicken neck. And just be mindful that if you do feed raw bones, always supervise. For omega fatty acids, she'll be getting mackerel. And for a source of zinc, she'll be getting cooked oysters. She gets three farm fresh quail eggs, and I do like to feed the shells for extra calcium, but when I don't have farm fresh, I just feed the eggshell membrane. To help balance out the meal, we'll be adding kelp tablets as well as vitamin E oil. She'll be getting some steamed kale as well as a strawberry. She gets a splash of the kefir, as well as a frozen pumpkin flaxseed cube. Now she's ready to eat. What I feed my dogs. One and a half cups of food. One raw egg for extra protein only once every two days. Carrots for extra vitamins. Canned pink salmon, great for their coat and skin. Warm bone broth to hydrate their food and add flavor. Fish oil also for their skin, coat and joints. Multifunctional vitamins, I like to crush them and sprinkle it on top. Frozen treats, I use strawberry, blueberries, bananas, kale, and honey. All done. Today, Raymond's going to have one pound of ground veal. She's also going to have one pound of ground lamb, which is her favorite. And to basically rehydrate, we're going to be making some bone broth from Native Pet. Just two tablespoons of powder into warm water for Remy. And we're just, again, rehydrating these freeze-dried ingredients. Today we're going to use green tripe. And then we're also going to use the freeze-dried salmon as well. Because these are freeze-dried, these are still raw. And they contain all their essential nutrients still. And just be mindful that these are raw. So if you do hand feed your dog or give them as treats, just be careful and wash your hands as well. I also like to add hip and joint powder, and for organs today, she's gonna have beef liver and beef kidney. I also like to add Guts and Glory about two to three times a week, and what it is is basically a freeze-dried organ powder, which is great for variety. 
And for bone today, Remy's going to have a duck head and a duck foot, as well as some ultra oil. He's also going to get a fresh cracked chicken egg, and don't forget to feed the shell and shell membrane for additional calcium. To fill any nutritional gaps, I add earth animal, and then basically she's ready to eat. Here's an easy way you can make eating fun for your dog while making sure that they don't eat too fast. After their kibbles spread out, you can add in fresh healthy foods. Chicken eggs are an affordable superfood for dogs and don't forget to add in the eggshell membrane. They're amazing for joint support. Second, I'm adding canned sardines in water. They supply omega fatty acids which help relieve allergies and dry itchy skin. Third, I'm adding raw beef as a source of fresh high quality protein. Fourth, I'm adding steamed green beans. They are full of vitamins and minerals and are a great source of fiber. Lastly, I'm rehydrating the kibble with Native Pets Bone Broth. It aids in digestion to maintain a healthy gut and it's full of collagen which will help prevent joint issues. If you want a guide telling you more healthy foods so you can add to your dog's kibble, go to kaylakwalski.com.